Boker Tov, I'm Avi and this is your Daily Tanya for Friday, the 3rd of Heshvan, October the 28th. We continue in Egress Akodesh, Epistle 25. In today's lesson, clarifying a misinterpretation or misunderstanding of the Baal Shem Tov's teaching, the concept of descent of the Shekhinah even into evil is sourced not only in Lurianic Kabbalistic doctrine, but in basic Jewish faith. Boker Tov. It would seem to me, says the Alter Rebbe, alluding to the opponents of Hasidim, who has taken the issue with the above discussed passage from Savos Harisha, Harivas, that their seizing upon this passage was not prompted by the particular term vis a vis dwelling, but by the very notion that the Shrina can be invested in the Klipot, for they do not believe what Rabbi Yitzhak uh, uh, Luria. Rizal of blessed memory said concerning this quoted in Sefret Hagulim. They should seek to distinguish between spiritual people and physical idolaters, contending that the Rizal is speaking only of the spiritual people as distinct from a corporal heathen. There is nothing more physical than the dust of the earth. To recap, the point of discussion was that Miznagdim, those who were opponents to the Baal Shem Tov, said that it wasn't possible that the Klippa, which is the evil coding, the separation between that and the Abishter, could have a divine presence or Shechina vested within it. So we continue. Nevertheless, it stated in the Kabbalah that the separate of Malchus, of Malchus, of the world of Azera, Asiya, vests itself. And within that in turn is vested the separate of Malchus of the world of Azira and so on, with the separate of Malchus of the world of Bria and the separate of Malchus of the world of Azilos as mentioned above. So you see that each of the worlds is connected through Malchus, an expression of the other divine attributes or emotive attributes, which is fueled and animated through the Shina. And it should be difficult for them to conceive that the Shina vests itself in a Gentile because the impurity of the souls of the Gentile the souls of the Gentile derive from the union of the masculine and feminine avalanche of Zivu, Zeun, and the union of Zeher, Apin, Machus, of the spiritual clipot, as stated in the writings of the Arizal, Rabbi Yitzhak, Gloria of Blessed Memory. Thus, the sources of the impurity are the spiritual clipot, in which they all agree that Shlina can best itself. Why then, in the, not, why not then in the soul of a Gentile? However, in truth, the manner of the investor both in the spiritual and in the physical realm, requires extensive ecludiation. In fact, their complaint should not be addressed to us, to the revealers of Hasidim, the Baal Shem Tov, the Magad of Mizraj, and the Baal Shem Tov himself, but to the writings of Yitzhak, Rabbi Yitzhak Luria of Best Memory, the result in which it is stated that Shina does not vest itself within Klipa. And let no listener suspect that I imagine... that I understood the words of Rabbi Yitzhak, glory of blessed memory, divesting them from their physical connotation. For I have set out only to explain the words of the Baal Shem Tov of blessed memory and his disciples according to the Kabbalah, Kabbalah of Rabbi Yitzhak, glory of blessed memory. So let me go back. In fact, their complaint should not be addressed to us, the revealers of Hasidim, the Baal Shem Tov, the Magad of Mizrash, and the Alter Rebbe himself, but the writings of Rabbi Yitzhak, glory of blessed memory, in which he stated that the Shechina does indeed vest itself within Klippa, and let there be no listener suspect that I imagine that I have understood the words of Rabbi Yitzhak, glory of blessed memory, divesting them from their physical connotation, for I have set out only to explain the words of the Baal Shem Tov of blessed memory, and his disciples according to the Kabbalah of Rabbi Yitzhak, glory of Rizal of blessed memory, and it is especially so since this concept, God's presence is even the humblest of places. It is not a teaching of Kabbalah, nor is it one of the secrets that there are unto the Lord our God, but rather one of the things revealed unto us, unto our children, to believe in perfect faith in the explicit statement of the scripture, do, not fill the heaven, do I not fill the heavens and the earth, says Hashem. And the scripture does not depart from its plain meaning. Hashem does indeed fill all space, both material and spiritual. Moreover, it is a simple article of faith among Jews in general. In Jews in general. 
handed down to them by their saintly ancestors who walked artlessly with Hashem without searching the concept of the divinity by means of moral intellect, for it is infinitely beyond the intellect to know intellectually how the Abishter fills the world. But new ones have recently come to rationally examine this question, and it is impossible to bring it within reach of their reason except by means of premise borrowed from the writings of Rabbi Yitzhak Gloria, the Arizal of blessed memory divested from their physical connotation. And according to what I hear from my master, the Baal Shem Tov and the Magad of Israel, may their souls rest in Eden. However, it is impossible to explain this clearly in writing only orally to an ear that hears and understands to uniquely qualified individuals and to the remnants whom Hashem calls. That being said, as it is written, they who seek Hashem will understand all. And from the affirmative, you may infer the negative. For those who do not seek Hashem are incapable of receiving the knowledge of Him as revealed in the inner dimensions of Torah and particularly in the true comprehension, comprehensible manner in the teachings of Hasidim, Hasidus, or Hasidim. You have now seen, writes the Ralt Rebbe, to the opponents of Hasidim as explained in a single passage from its well-known books as a sample and token that likewise all the problematic passages about which objections have been raised have, all, have an explanation and meaningfulness for those familiar with the hidden wisdom, i.e. Kabbalah. <clears throat> However, let my esteemed reader not hope that I will explain everything in writing, writing for that is hard and extensive labor and indeed absolutely impossible. But if you do so desire, send here from among your outsigning, outstanding appropriate individual from your community and God willing, I will talk to him face to face and may Hashem be with my mouth as I speak. May the words of my mouth find favor. The takeaway, do not overthink a simple truth. The Torah declares Hashem's presence fills all of the heavens and all of the earth. A good Erev Shabbos. Kol Tov at Have a great day.